Uh, there was an article that prompted this that I saw this week that said uh, Sotheby's is now offering private jet and helicopter rides for international clients who are looking to purchase real estate. So the idea being, I think, that a high-end homeowner or a, rather a high-end client who's looking to buy a luxury home can come into Calgary, get picked up from the airport and flown around in a helicopter to um, any of these very expensive properties that they might be interested in purchasing. And uh, if you go to the National Post or the Globe and Mail, you can't help but flip through the real estate section and see that uh, two things, Toronto and Vancouver get mentioned all the time because they're continuing to experience very, very strong markets. And condominiums now are back in the news. I saw a little note uh, in one of the articles that said banks are now closely watching the number of condo projects that are in the marketplace. And um, so we've got a hot real estate market, we've got free helicopter rides, and we've got banks starting to talk about uh, maybe we should be careful about how many condo units we're bringing on. So the first thing I think of, of course, is haven't we seen this movie before? Uh, I was, uh, I mean, I've been doing this for a very long time, since the late 90s, and I remember, you know, 2006 through 2007, uh, or rather 2004 through 2007, that our local market was, was unbelievable. It was, um, it was a very busy time. Everyone was doing very well, and I think the rest of Canada was as well, and then the crash came, and, and what we learned was that, um, you know, it was really the financial institutions that, that drove a lot of the last crash, so it wasn't necessarily just the real estate market, although lenders clearly were over-leveraged, and homeowners and speculators and investors were all betting on a market that would continue to go up, and of course it doesn't, it does correct itself. Um, so I feel like I've seen this movie before. I feel like I've seen all the hype and all the excitement about how aggressive the market is, how much it's growing, how luxury home sales continue to reach all-time highs uh, that they've never seen before. And uh, what I'm experiencing in our little city, though, is I think that, um, that certainly land costs ha have gone up. I don't know that construction costs have changed. I know we have new people coming to the city, and there is a lack of available inventory, which obviously does push up the price. Um, but apparently foreign investors too are putting money into Calgary. They're investing in projects. They're building buildings and homes. And I think that's happening in Vancouver and Toronto and, and across the rest of the market. So I guess my question would be what ends up happening now if the public markets start to slide? If there's a correction in the stock market or maybe life doesn't really work out over there as it should, what does that end up doing to the Canadian marketplace given that I don't know how much of the increase in value we've seen has been artificial. In Calgary, I think the land price is artificial, and I think that's because of poor politics on behalf of the city to constrain the type of uh, land that can be made available. But across the country, I mean, I don't know what's really driving Vancouver and Toronto's value, but my question is, what happens if the public market slide? Does that mean that foreign investors take their money out of Canada? Does that mean that all of a the sudden the, these bidding wars that might be taking place for projects in Vancouver and Toronto start to, to diminish? So I don't really, I mean, I don't really know. I think I've seen this before. I think we've all seen this before. Many of us have seen this type of market before. And so it probably begs the question, what does that mean for the average homeowner or the average person in Canada? And to me, you know, it's probably the same old thing that it always is. You know, live within your means. Don't borrow more than what you don't think you can repay. And even though the real estate market is hot, there will be a day that comes where it's not hot. Most people are signing 25-year mortgages, so that means they're going to pay three or four times for their home. And during 25 years, it's virtually certain that the market will go up and that the market will go down. So probably not a great idea to have a short-term view on any kind of real estate decision that you're making, but probably best to have a longer-term view on it. And of course, if you're in the construction business, you want to be very sensitive to the price of land uh, that you're prepared to pay for the, the projects or the properties that you're building. And you definitely want to be very sensitive to the cost of capital and make sure that you do, in fact, have the right amount of money. So, uh, as always, it pays to be prudent. Um, it pays to know your options. It pays to have an opinion about what you think is happening in the market and to look 
at your own circumstances and make sure that whether the real estate market is hot and helicopter rides are a plenty or the real estate market is cold and nothing is happening that you're going to be able to uh, make your way through whatever changes the market might bring so have a plan uh, understand your options in the event that your circumstances do change and if there's anything that we can do to help we would encourage you to visit emilynow.ca you're going to be able to see the banks and lenders in the marketplace you'll have an opportunity in less than I don't know probably less than three and a half minutes to put some basic information together to see what your options might be and then of course you can engage with us and we'd be happy to help or send your information directly to a bank and uh, get them to see to get them to give you a quote on what they can do for you we have live chat on the website we've got real people uh, that work with our clients uh, behind the scenes so yeah, if you need help we'd love to give it mm -hmm.